Hi everyone, I hope you are enjoying lesson two as I am. Um, anyway, so for this week's idea folio assignment, um, we're assigned three questions. And the first question is, so how can technology support the inquiry concept? Um, how can my learners collaborate with others in the global community? Well, from this week's lesson material, lesson reading materials, uh, there was a curated list of articles, and that was related to the 21st century classroom. And one of the articles I read uh, described the best screen sharing software of 2019. Um, and quote unquote, uh, screen sharing makes collaboration and support as visual and interactive as it would be in person. You can present a design, a website, a document as exactly as it displays on your screen while it's happening or virtually <clears throat> virtually peer over the shoulder of a colleague. I'm sorry, let me reread that. Or virtually peer over the shoulder of a colleague to offer guidance. Uh, Brandel 2019. <clears throat> and the second question is, how does, the, how does integrated technology support the learner learner's process for learning. Well, uh, technology provides a significant amount of support for the learning process. Um, it can be utilized for numerous things such as webinar presentations, uh, live student to student or teacher to student engagement and interactions and a quick and easy resource, quick and easy resource to basically any question or any question a student or teacher may have. Um, how does integrated technology support the learner's evidence and final products of learning? Well, uh, integrated technology supports the learner's evidence and final products of learning because it is a valid and scholarly resource. Um, if it is a valid and scholarly resource, such as an article from ASU libraries, it is credible and factual. So the internet is definitely a um, great resource to use for any question a teacher or student may have. And that concludes this week's idea folio. Thank you.